Friday is the grand opening day at the new recreation center. The city of La Follette invites you to the grand opening of the new East La Follette Community Center, formerly the elementary school. Ceremonies begin Friday, tomorrow at 10 a.m., and we hope to see you there. A Knoxville man is arrested after an altercation with a school resource officer at a Campbell County High School ball game. Campbell County Sheriff's Department spokesman Darrell Chapman tells WLAF that 27-year-old David Austin Thomas is due in court tomorrow after an altercation at the Campbell County and Halls basketball game last Friday, January 13th. The arrest report shows that school resource officer Gary Jeffers was called by Campbell County High Assistant Principal David Jones to speak to Thomas. That was when Thomas refused to leave the gym after the game. Jeffers reportedly asked Thomas numerous times to leave the gym, but he refused, and that is when Jeffers tried to escort him out. Chapman goes on to say that Thomas' chest bumped Jeffers, and then, after a brief scuffle, Thomas was taken to the gym floor by Jeffers. Chapman adds that Thomas was arrested for disorderly conduct and taken to the Campbell County Jail and then later released on a $500 bond. Today marks a milestone in Campbell County and in Civil War history. It's the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Mill Springs. Our own Campbell County men, members of Companies A and B of the 1st Tennessee Infantry were engaged at Mill Springs. Company B formed at Jacksboro on August 1, 1861, was the first federal unit formed in Tennessee. Company A was formed at Jacksboro the following day. Thomas Jefferson, Jeff Rogers, who grew up at Hunter's Branch, stood guard over the body of Confederate General Zollicoffer after the general was killed. Mill Springs Battlefield is at Nancy, Kentucky, just outside of Somerset. This evening is Meals in a Pinch Night at the Jellicoe Highway Church of God from 6 to 7. The church offers a complete meal and a box giveaway while supplies last. A Campbell County man is arrested for the rape of a child. Sheriff Robbie Goins tells WLAF and TV 12 News that a White Oak man, 55-year-old Danny Lambden, was arrested on charges of rape of a child and aggravated sexual battery. The investigation began when the Criminal Investigation Division of the Sheriff's Office received a request for investigation from the State of Tennessee Department of Human Children's Services. A school resource deputy, Megan Wilson, was informed that a child was being touched inappropriately by a relative while off campus. Wilson called to report the complaint as is required by state law. Department of Children's Service staff called the Sheriff's Department to work with the 8th Judicial District Attorney's Office. Detective Sergeant Ricky Jeffers is the detective selected by Sheriff Goins to head all child abuse investigations. On January the 12th of 2012, deputies went to Lambden's residence to arrest him. Deputy Josh Carroll took Lambden into custody and took him to the Campbell County Jail. He was released the next day on a $35,000 bond. And it's back to the hardwood for our local high school teams. Campbell travels to Tazewell tonight to take on Claiborne County while Grace Christian visits the Jellicoe Blue Devils. The WLAF Sports Network has the coverage. See the Campbell County High School game is televised live on 1450wlaf.com 
and listen in to the games on 1450 WLAF Radio while you may hear Jellico take on the Rams over 1450 WLAF.com. Friday night is homecoming night at Campbell County High School. And that's our news for this Thursday. Stay tuned for the press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. Now let's take a look at today's report from the Sheriff's Department. There are 13 names on our report today. Thomas W. Barnes, 26, of Jellicoe, for felony evading arrest, possession of drug paraphernalia, reckless driving, violation of the driver license law, the seat belt law, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle, violation of a traffic control device, failure to give a signal, theft of property under $500, and speeding. 24-year-old Melissa Sue Clark of Thelma Circle in Jacksboro for felony evading arrest, possession of drug paraphernalia, violation of the seatbelt law, destruction of evidence, theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999, theft of property under $500, and on a hold for another agency. Joel Emanuel Corner, 37, of Claiborne Road, La Folly, on a capius. 39-year-old John Travis Dilbeck of Dilbeck Lane and Caravel for driving while revoked, failure to yield, and violation of the light law. Kelly Lynn Gilmore, 31, of Helenwood for disorderly conduct. 27-year-old Joseph Dwayne Harmon of Melvin Hollow Road in Pioneer on a capious bench warrant. Kelly Leanne Hopper, 22, of Straight Branch Road in Speedwell for violation of probation. 61-year-old Johnny Milton Humphrey of Western Heights Lane in Helenwood for public intoxication. Tommy William Humphrey, 61, of Oneida, for public intoxication. 24-year-old Mandy Jane Ivey of Demery Road, La Follette, for violation of probation. Justin T. Marlowe, 25, of Clawson Road, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 24-year-old Christopher Watson of Donna Lane in Jacksboro for disorderly conduct and speeding. And Tessa Marie Williamson, age 30, of Knoxville on other charges. And that's a look at our news for this Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to join us back here again tomorrow for the end of the week edition. Good Thursday evening, everybody. Welcome into your birthdays and anniversaries brought to you by East Side Pizza and Deli over there in the Food Lion Shopping Center. Celebrating a birthday today, Teresa Crutchfield starting off our list today. Casey Austin also celebrates a birthday today, as well as Jim Shepard. Jim turned 55 today. We have a few belated birthdays here. Matthew Day celebrated a birthday back on the 15th. That was Sunday. He turned 17. Uh, back from last Wednesday, Tim Shepard celebrated a birthday. He turned 34. And Amanda Sharp from this past Wednesday, she turned 30 years old. So happy birthday to all of you. Uh, Anniversary-wise, we got Adam and Arlene Bullock celebrate 16 years today. So congratulations to you. All of you are qualified for our upcoming drawing. That's uh, headed our way here tomorrow. Big Josh will draw those two names for the East Side Pizza and Deli birthday club and anniversary club and that's two free buffet dinners and if your birthday and anniversary is sometime this week you need to hurry up and get your information here and before early tomorrow morning that's when we'll have that drawing so that uh, you could possibly qualify for those two drawings and that does it for our birthdays and anniversaries for today so you have a good night and i'll see you back here tomorrow stay tuned your news continues <laughs>